Ho oh, race fans, sim fans, RC fans, racing 393. Okay, so if you watch the other video, it was a real disappointing run. Um, yeah, we had a 2S LiPo and a reasonably well hopped up uh, TT01 E chassis, and it's normally a fairly good car. Um, I've had 43 miles an hour out of it, which is, you know, quick enough. I'm sort of aiming to get over 50, but we're a long way off from that for the moment. Um, one of the main reasons is the connection. So what I'm going to do today is, is put some clean connections on. So this one here, I'm just going to move the camera because the sun's well bright here. So that there is the battery connection from the speed controller. Just a hobby wing, nothing different. Nothing special, not different, special. Uh, I've got a new um, Tamiya end. Um, female end, that, that, I think that will go, that's a male end with female connectors on there. So the connectors that go into the, the plug are these ones. So they, they're quite fiddly, but you've got to strip the wire back on here and put a clean connector on. I've got some, I've got some pliers here that might hopefully do the trick. So I'm going to cut that off pull some of the plastic back, install these, these metal connectors, put them into the clip, into the actual Tamiya plug, and we should be good to go because they just slot in. Um, I don't think they come out, I think they used to. No. So I'm going to have to cut that off flush and then uh, we'll attempt to put new ends on in the plug and we'll see how that goes. So I put the ends on, crimped them down, they fit really well, They're not loose, there's no loose connections. And then there's some little tabs on the end here which splay out. Once I plug this on, there's kind of like no going back. So I've got to make sure they go on the correct um, polarity. Um, and that should be that. You can see by this one that that's, that's how it was. You've got like the red and the black wire, as it were, like with the clip. So that's, that's what I'll do. I'll just put it on the straight the same way. So let me do that and then we'll see, well, can't see if it works, not yet, but we'll see if it's, make sure it's secure. That's those on. Nice and secure, a nice clean connection. That's the old one. You can see that it's got a lot of dark, burnt, <laughs> corroded. I'm not sure that's helping. Right. A little bit of Loctite now. Um, yeah, we're gonna put those on the pins on the front. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but these, they just screw into aluminium and I don't think they're particularly very secure. So I'll stick a little bit of Loctite on those. The bottom ones came out last time. I think it was that one. I can't remember now. Oh, it's that one. That's sort of roughed up. So let's stick some Loctite on that. Uh, and then there's one more thing to do, so. Okay, so it's uh, all done. So I've had to move, it's too hot where I was. Um, the connector's on, the, the Tamiya connector for the battery. Um, you can't see the next one, but there's Loctite on bottom and the top. 
um, kingpins. It's kind of what they are, it's what they pivot round on, isn't it? So a little bit of Loctite, not too much, just enough to keep it in. A little bit like, you know, like I did on the steering bridge, because they kept coming loose as well, going straight into aluminium. What else? So the other thing I did, did it off camera, but the bullet connectors, they're not brilliant, but they are more connected now. They do come loose occasionally, but they're quite tight now. Um, should be all right. Should eliminate any bad connections or resistance. So that'd be, that'd be a good thing. Um, the only other thing I need to do is reduce, again, it's not something you can see here, but because of the one-way clutch on the front, it free wheels. So it's four wheel drive until you brake. When you brake, it's only transferring the braking element of it to the back wheels. And I've got the ABS braking part of the transmitter too strong. So as soon as you apply brakes, it just spins. So I'm gonna adjust the ABS on the speed controller so that it applies a small amount of brakes and then it will hopefully be more stable in slowing down. Um, that's it really. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna put the high speed bearings on just yet. I wanna get a good run, stability, braking, and then you can either change the gearing or the bearings or both. So, so that's a quick update on my TTO1E. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again soon.